Well, welcome. Uh, my name is Daniel Swain. I own a small agency in the Marietta area. Uh, it's called JDS Web Design. I've been in business for about 10 plus years. Um, it's a nice looking guy right there. Uh, you can find me uh, almost at everything with JDS Web Design, uh, LLC on Twitter, but everything else is just JDS Web Design. Uh, my slides are going to be very, very generic, and the reason for that is I really like to take and turn this uh, conversational piece of how you get your second client into a conversation. Uh, the reason why I came up with this is I love helping our community, and one of the things in the community is I meet a lot of folks who are new in terms of whether they want to turn what is their hobby into their business. And one of the first things that I always hear is, how did you get your second client? The interesting thing is, what I always tell them is, I can tell you how I didn't get my second client. I, I'm not going to discuss job boards. I think if you want to learn how to write proposals, go to job boards. Send them out because a lot of what you will see is you don't get as many responses or positive responses that you would think you would receive. And I do know that there's some people who only use job boards and are running a successful agency and I applaud them. I wish they would come and speak at WordPress so I could learn how to find jobs, that I could get the value that I deserve, but most of them don't. I won't talk about code calling. If you are a blooding for punishment and you want to go through your phone book and say, hey, I can build your website and go through 60 or 70 phone calls of people hanging up on you, more power to you. I won't even talk about what I call walk ups. Walk ups is where you will say, hey, you do my dry cleaning and you don't have a great website. So I'm going to walk up to you and say, hey, I can create this great service. The problem with that is that individual is trying to conduct business. And you're trying to conduct business. And in most cases, they don't want to be unkind, but they're still trying to get to the next customer. And so I don't think that that's a really great way to find your second client. So you say to yourself, okay, Daniel, you told us how not to get it. How can we get it? Well, the first way that I would always encourage people is what I call my AT&T plan. And what the AT&T plan is, is tell your, fam tell your family, your friends, your circle what you're doing. A lot of times I notice that people will say, hey, I'm a web designer, I'm a graphic artist, but they don't tell everybody else. Tell everyone. Because the, the ego in you says, well, my mom has been an at-home mom for 30 years. She's not going to, she doesn't need a website. But what you don't realize is that your mother has friends. And she loves to brag on you. And she loves to say, hey, my son can build you a great website. I always tell people uh, two stories. I remember I had a, a guy that was like, I'm really struggling to find uh, clients. And I said, hey, well, you need to mention it to your family and friends. And he was like, well, I said, trust me. And he came back about three weeks later and said, hey, I got my second client. And you will never know how I got it. He said, my mother is in this bridge club. And one of her friends' son is starting a new company. And he was looking for a web designer. And he couldn't quite figure out which company to go with. But his mother gave the suggestion to look at this guy. And that suggestion turned into a conversation. And that conversation turned into a project. I also tell people about this other story about yours truly. Ten years ago, I was laid off after 25 years in corporate America. And at that time, I decided I was going to go back to school. I've got a really great friend. We met each other when we were in college. We joined the same fraternity. 
and we've been friends for over 30 years. And at the time that I got laid off, I told him, hey, I'm going to go back to school. Well, it was August. And if you ever try to get in graduate school in August, that is the absolute worst month to try to get in graduate school. It does not matter. If somebody decides they're not coming to the school, they tell them in July. They do not say it in August. And so I then decided, well, I'm going to live my fantasy. I'm going to try to see how good I am as a golfer. I got some severance money. I can go out here and play some rounds of golf and quickly realize that uh, being a husband of four and a mortgage, I can't get out there and play golf all the time. And so I fell into web design, which was my hobby. And I built a website for my neighbor, and I started my company. Well, my friend, I never told him. And uh, about six months, six, seven months after I started my company, he invited me up to the memorial. He was working in Columbus, Ohio. We go up there. I'm seeing Tiger Woods and Phil. We're this close. You know, it's, he's got a nice tent. And that Monday, we go out and play a round of golf. And anyone who's played golf realizes early on, you start talking about what you do for a living. And so I said, oh, I got a small digital agency. And then all of a sudden, my friend got really quiet. And on that ride to the airport, he said, you know what? I was looking for a web designer. Now, the little man on my side says, you know what, Daniel, you had only been in business for six months. It would have been way over your head. But the truth is, because we're such good friends, he would have probably given me that project. And it would have been a project that could have advanced my agency a lot. But because I was not open to my family, my friends, my support groups, and when I say you're in a circle, I'm talking if you are an active member in a faith-based organization, a fraternal organization, your neighborhood, let everyone know. You have nothing to do. And all it really does is it increases your network. Because when I tell you, you tell someone else that I don't know, and it just increases everyone who can know if they're looking for the services that I provide. The second section that I will say, you have somebody, if you have a client, you know something that I don't know. And that person is your client. Always tell your clients that you're available. Always. Your clients can be your number one fan. I got a really good friend of mine who's a graphic artist. Who in here is a graphic artist? Is that all you guys do? That's all he does. Even if that is an incredibly difficult job. If all you do is print work and graphic artists, all you're doing is logos. And that's all he does. And he stays incredibly busy. I remember I was building a website and this particular client needed a new logo. And so I suggested my friend, he can build you a great logo. And a week or two later, I was talking to my client. And they said, yeah, you know, thanks for the, re the recommendation. He's going to build the logo. It's going to take about two months from now. I said, two months? No, you need, the projects are going to be designed. I'm moving on by then. So I called up my friend and said, hey, I gave you, he said, yeah, thanks. I fit them in as quick as I could. I said, 60 days? He's like, man, I'm booked up for four months. I said, you booked up for four months? How are you booked up for four months? He said, in my business model, after I complete a project, I turn around and once a month, I send my client something. And at the end of anything I send them, I always let them know that I'm available. If you know someone who needs my services, let me know. And because he's done such a great job for those particular clients, those clients are referring him. And so I always tell people, you have something that I don't have. You've got your own clients. Let your clients know that you're available. Because what happens a lot of times is your client will say, you did a great job, but I bet you he's busy. Or I bet you she's busy. And so if you're not letting your clients know that you're available, 
then all of a sudden that could be a lost uh, opportunity. The third thing, and it's probably the hardest thing for most of us, is our community. If you're not part of a community, I would encourage you to join a community. If you're in the Atlanta area, I would definitely encourage you to, to join one of our meetups. We've got several of them. <coughs> I was talking to a really good friend of mine who's a web designer, and he stays busy. And I said, man, you really stay busy. How do you know, how, how are you so busy? And he said, I latched on to someone who only did SEO. And I asked him, when you have a project where that project might need a redesign or a website, who do you refer them to? At the time, the person really didn't have any. He says, you know, I usually tell them, you know, here's an agency or here's a person. I don't have one direct pipeline. And he says, well, keep me in mind. And just from that conversation inside the community, it turned into opportunities. And so what I tell people is when they're looking for their second client is what you really just need to do is to expand your network. See, if you think about all the three suggestions I gave, I didn't talk about how not to expand your community, but how to expand your community. See, because when you talk to your family and friends, all you're doing is expanding your community in a free way. You're letting them know. They trust you. They love you. They're going to let people know that you, this is what you do. They're going to run across somebody who you might not run across and let them know that those are some of the services that you offer. When you let your clients know, your clients might run into it or they might have a project, another project that comes up that needs your services. And if you're letting them know that you're available and it's been a really great, positive experience, they're going to reach back out to you. And when you come into our community, or to our community, and you reach out, you'll find that you'll be able to reciprocate that same type of response. And so it's not really about reinventing the wheel. It's just about expanding your network. And instead of looking at yourself as a four block radius, turn it into a whole city. Let people know that this is what you do. It's too quiet in here. I know somebody's got some questions. <laughs>